Hey, Halloween means candy and costumes typically, but this Halloween, something special is being unleashed at Caesars Entertainment Studio. Our next guest is headlining a night of EDM and metal that will bring night terror near our strip. That's right. Hayden Capuzzo is here. You know him as Kazo. He joins us now. What's up, man? How are you? I'm good. How are you guys? Doing hey. really well, man. You are transforming this, because we think of this tent like, ah, oh, that's where, you know, they filmed Millionaire and they filmed some... Right. You are taking that tent and you are... Yeah. Transform Lighten it. This it is your playground. Yeah, it's going to be, I, from what I was told, it's the first music concert at this particular venue. Yes, really? so That's what I was told. And so yeah. I've got a, I've got a big shoes to fill as the first concert. But no, it's going to be, it's going to be absolutely insane. It's, um, it's going to be, it's a called Unleashed. That's like kind of like my branded show. Yeah. And um, we're bringing a brand new massive production to the, the tent tomorrow night. And um, I don't want to give too much away, but it's like for my fans, anyone that kind of knows what's what my brand and what everything kind of entails, it's going to be something larger than anything I've ever done before. So wow. it's it's kind of taking taking what I've done to an entirely new level and uh, putting on something special. If for you're Vegas. saying this, you're putting this on a massive yeah. pedestal, so you I know put, it's going to be my, big. I'll put yeah. my money where my mouth is on this one. <laughs> nice. yeah, my, me and my team put a lot of work and effort into this, and so we're here a couple days early rehearsing and making sure it's perfect for everyone. I'm excited that Las Vegas is is the city to to take this to the next level, yeah. so that's cool because I mean, we, uh, we love to host music. Yeah, I mean, you guys yeah. have one of the biggest EDM festivals in the world, the EDC, course, yeah. every yeah. year, and so I'm here at least – every year for that and so you guys have some like Vegas is one of the best communities for dance music. What, what's, what's it like putting a show together like because it's not just music it's like ah I, I found a good set here we go <laughs> you like it's AV to the max like the screens the lights everything has to be in sync and work perfectly like yeah. that's a it's like putting together like the most complicated Ikea freaking furniture <laughs> ever it's yeah. tough. Yeah no it is yeah. I mean I luckily I have a good team a really really good team behind me from everything from obviously the music that I produce yeah. and um my, uh, my visual guy who does all my visuals, my production team, uh, my tour manager that does help put the stage together and designing the stage and stuff, and yeah. everyone with the lighting and everything in between. There's so many people that go into putting the show on, and uh, it's just not me. If I couldn't do it alone, so uh, to have everyone to help me out, it's incredible. I bet it is a lot of creative people. And yeah. even actually today here in the studio, you have four or five people with you. So yeah, it's always. Awesome. Yeah, it's, it's right. cool. No. I always wanted one. I know. You can you try to find you can one. Can I please? Wow, can I can be an announcer? Yeah. Although yeah. well, I'm losing weight. We need I'm one. We need one. Oh, yeah, can yeah. you give us both jobs? If we were going to employ Sean and I at your show, what would we do? Oh, oh God. man. Yeah. Ticket taker. On the spot. No, not ticket taker. I, do you like you could be a bouncer? Okay, we'll you, bouncer. We'll throw, you, we'll throw you behind the stage. I'm no one, no one, no one can get on stage with, unless they get past you. There's a song that you have. Wait, with I didn't get my job okay, yet. Okay, fine. I know. Yeah, oh man. my gosh. Um, what would I do? Let's see. Go, go um, I, no, I no, no. I would. You know what? You could come on the road and, um, you know, uh, help document all the travels and like. We, I want to write it. Like we'll do. We'll do like a memoir. All the. Yeah. We'll write a memoir there one we day. We'll. Yes. We'll bounce ideas I'm off. Do a we'll, documentary. Yeah, a documentary. There we go. You can I'm help in. my photographer okay. do that. You'll try and get to yeah. be at the show. Yes. Of one of my best men going to be at the show. Oh, yes. yeah. You guys all went in on a collaboration for a song called Night Terror, which yes. is perfect for a freaking show like this. Yeah, uh, right. How did that all come together? And yeah. what like this new album is like all kind of a lot of rock yeah. different yeah. styles. Right? Yeah. So Unleashed. Uh, well, to talk about the song first, Night Terror. Yoltron is one of my my absolute best friends in electronic music and just in general as a person. And um, yeah. we've been talking for so long, writing a record together. Yeah. And um, we finally had some time off to do it. And we had written this instrumental and we really, you know, we're really happy with it. And we were kind of going through, you know, what, what um, bands that we knew, because Yoltron also co comes from like a metal and rock background yeah. and um, bands and stuff. So he's kind of in the same exact headspace as me. And so we kind of talked and we had been friends with the Mice and Men, Aaron, the lead singer, and uh, Tino, the drummer, for a long time. And, we just got on the phone with them, texted them, and like, hey, do you want to listen to this record? And yeah. mm. they loved it. And then, uh, like, maybe a month later, we all got in the studio in LA together and uh, we wrapped it up in like one day. How awesome and, is that, uh, man? That's how wow. quick it can go. Um, but yeah, the album Unleashed, it's, um, I grew up listening to like pop punk, rock, and metal. And um, so it's kind of uh, me continuing to try to bridge the gap between like what I've been influenced on my entire life yeah. with, uh, with, with this type of rock music and what I got into later in life, I guess, with electronic. and finding a way to kind of like bridge Jeez. the gap and meet in the yeah. middle uh, best I can. And so this is just my ever continuing. So if you have kind of an eclectic love of music. Is there one style of music that people would be really shocked that you sometimes enjoy? Sometimes. I mean, no, yeah. I wouldn't say sometimes because I listen, to be completely honest, I don't yeah. listen to a lot of electronic music in my free time. It's okay. What do you all. listen to? Well, I, do I, don't, I, don't, I, don't watch, I don't watch a lot of TV in my free time. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 I think we're on the same true. path there. Yeah. Um, 
obviously a lot of rock and metal and stuff like that. But yeah. aside from that, I listen to a lot of like jazz music. I love jazz music. Yes. I love anything like kind of like New Orleans. Um, uh, New Orleans jazz music, old, anything from like the 30s, 40s, 20s, anything like that. My so, friend, I last night I was listening to Louis Prima, who spent yeah. a lot of time performing here in Vegas. Amazing. You gotta turn on some Louis Prima I have to, today. I'll do that on the way it's home. It's a beautiful day. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of what I do. Congratulations, time. we're looking forward to seeing this production. Thank you, I appreciate uh, it. It's gonna yeah. be incredible music, yeah. high level production. Uh, Haunted House is gonna be unleashed tomorrow night. For Kazo, Unleash is happening over at Caesars Entertainment Studios. That's that big tent that's behind Bally's at Flamingo and Cobalt. Tickets start at just $45, and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. I, I want to see how the EDM uh, and Ravers and the Metalcore fans I know. come together.